stay in a good position. It's kind of like, like that, then if the frog pass by, they will just... Yeah, very, very handsome. So, uh, hmm. occasionally, the snake will be in the S position, and then if a frog pass by, uh, the size that you can actually fit in its mouth is just... Don't go to the air. <laughs> Don't go to the air. Do remember the venomous snake. Uh, so maybe I'll do a really quick uh, introduction. So uh, this is a. Uh, uh, so this is a male uh, Siamese speed viper. Why or how do you identify it's a male? Do you see the side line? There's a red and white line. Do you see it? Can you zoom in? On the line on the side? Can you zoom in? So uh, this is a male. This indicates that this is a male. So male normally won't get that big and it's more slender female is more bulky yeah because uh, they might carry eggs so it's more bulky Vince what's this wolf snake no this is this is something else Something else, eh? Go after it. Is it intestinalis? It's not intestinalis. No, 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 it's not intestinalis. What is it? Not no, it's a mock wiper, I think. I think it's a mock wiper. See, it's definitely not intestinalis. Mm. Yeah. Let's just get a shot first. Okay, you want to see the ventrum? Huh? Yeah, no, no, I'm not. I want to Unfortunately, on this trip, I photograph more dead snakes than live snakes. So, we're not quite sure which snake this is. It's, the markings are very weird. It's, it might be something that I've never seen in life before. <laughs> Do you think it's a, one of the CB notice? Yeah. Okay. Which one? Huh? Do you think Evan would be interested in the lorry? Check and see the adventure of the lorry. Uh, that's my book right now. We are going to show um, Vincent's uh, photographs on snakes, uh, a lot of them. And um, there are some awesome images here that um, I would like um, Vincent to talk about. And that is the um, Kopstein bronze snake, a uh, bronze bag. Yeah. Um, it is a very uh, attractive and colorful, uh, luminous kind of snake. Is that has that got any bearing towards whether they are venomous or not? Oh, okay, a very good question. Uh, normally, snakes that are uh, venomous, they they do show some kind of a color warning, but not always. For example, king cobra is one of the most venomous snake, but it's drab in color. Mm, yeah. Okay, it's olive and it's 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 a greenish color. So it doesn't have those ex luminosity. Luminous or very uh, uh what what do you call a uh, very attractive colors. But uh in this image, mm. uh, the Costinai, a uh, bronze back, uh, this snake is mildly venomous, like all color breed, uh, but there's no uh, medical significance. Mm. unless you are uh, very sensitive to even a small drop of venom okay um, but yes i do agree with concern this is one of the most beautiful bronze bag as you can see it has very shiny very bright uh, 
blue color mm. and then it's matched up with orange it's matched up with uh, yellow okay. so it makes this snake really really attractive and to end it with red beautiful red tongue red tongue huh? yeah so it's a beautiful snake yeah, yeah. it is it is, it is. Yeah. the next shot that um, caught my eye is actually the cameron pit viper uh, can you tell us some, some something about it okay Vince? this this uh, cameron pit viper uh, actually uh, is not trying to attack us it looks like it's showing its uh, uh, teeth and stuff like that and big yeah. mouth yeah. actually is not uh, trying to attack us snakes do occasionally yawn <laughs> yawning yeah it's yawning so why how do you differentiate between a yawning snake and a snake that's trying to attack normally when the snake try to attack the teeth you can you can sh see the teeth this uh -huh. one you say you don't see the teeth yeah you don't yeah, so yeah. it's the actually yawning not... so it just happened that we were uh, at the correct time or correct timing so quickly just a quick one two shot so managed to get one blur shot and one uh, sharp shot oh wonderful yeah. and then another more amazing image is the uh, blue coral snake with a spider on top of it how did that story come about oh okay so uh, spider uh, is it's not like we we did anything to it. This spider is actually attracted to light. Mm. So when you shine, because we were trying to photograph the snake, so we shine our torch light to the snake. So spider, some spider, especially jumping spider, they are attracted to light. So they will jump on the light, which is which we shine on the snake. So that's why you do sometimes get uh, shots of a spider on snakes. I see. I yeah. see. Alongside this picture, there is another um, snake that looks almost exactly as the uh, blue coral snake, and that is um, that is called the uh, um, red-headed reed snake. Um, what I say, why, why did I say that it's quite similar? Because the head itself is red, so you know, um, it's re I really find that very uh, to find two species look quite alike yeah. okay very good question so actually uh, sometimes snakes do mimic the more venomous or more dangerous snake so oh. this this snake actually is a mimic of the more dangerous oh. uh, coral snake okay uh, how do you actually uh, differentiate both of them oh. as you can see the coral snake in this case uh, has a blue line ah, okay, yes. for people that uh, you know, have no knowledge about snake, uh, that is a good indication. Mm. So the blue line actually give it away. I see. How you differentiate between these uh, two snakes. I mean, it quickly, normally people see a snake, people will run away. But for you to, don't have to panic, uh, so that you don't panic, you can look at the indication of the, for, for this species, is the blue line. So they are both venomous? Ah, uh, no. Oh, okay. The, uh, pink headed red snake or Red-headed pink uh, red snake is non-venomous. That's I why see. I say you for you to uh, be calm and not run away, you have to check it properly, which is the, the, the line, blue is line, the blue line in this I species only. This. Not not all venomous species yeah, have yeah. blue line. Yeah, 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 understand, understand. Coming to conservation of snakes, uh, I think uh, to protect um, the snakes, I you you do not in in your in your SOPs, yeah. You, you do not really reveal um, where you find the snakes? Uh, yes. Um, it's my personal uh, belief that uh, we should conserve the snake which that we photograph or that we find. So we, you keep your, the location secret? Yes, the location is uh, normally uh, not revealed, mm -hmm. not a secret, but we don't reveal it yes. unless uh, another scientist or uh, another scientific body needs uh, some extra information right. on the location, then we will share the information. Because uh, there are some form of uh, poaching activities going around, mm -hmm. so we try to avoid uh, animals being poached. Mm -hmm. So this is part of our effort to conserve uh, our local wildlife. Okay, before we come to the end of the, this episode, uh, what would your what would your advice be if to a person who would like to take up the hobby of photographing snakes? Uh, okay, I would say uh, get to know 
the snake first before you start photographing snakes. Meaning that you need to know whether they are venomous or non-venomous mm. and their habitat. Right. Some, okay, some people who started photographing snakes without understanding the snake, they put an uh, arboreal snake on the floor to photograph, which uh, normally it doesn't uh, match their, their need. Or you, you put a terrestrial, meaning the, the snakes that are on the floor, on the tree to photograph. So, by one look, we know that you are faking it and you are doing, a, you know, not it's doing it right. right. So, the best way for people that love to photograph snakes is to join MNS. MNS Herb Group. So, in Herb Group, after, probably after the MCO, uh, there will be more activities uh, yes. that MNS will organize and everyone is welcome to join. As, Members or non-members. But the thing is, if you are a non-member, non-MNS member, you have to pay more. So if you are a member, you will save a lot of money. So I would strongly encourage to close this, this talk. Join MNS as a member and you will enjoy the benefit and the perks and you will gain more knowledge and at the same time during our activities, you will get to photograph snakes. Wow, yeah? that's wonderful. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Vincent Thiel, for coming on to the show. I uh, appreciate all your, your advice and your uh, insights into snakes. And remember to click subscribe in the button down below and stay tuned for the next exciting episode on MNS Nature Grapher. Bye now! See you! See you!